G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy. Uh, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which I'm filming, the Wajik people of Noongar Buja. Now, you saw me earlier open a large box with two uh, boxes in it. Two pairs of boots have just arrived from uh, Parkhurst and uh, they, they were the recent drop that Parkhurst put out. And by the time you see this, it would have been a few weeks ago. And so I got two pairs of boots and I'm going to unbox the first one for you now and I'll follow up uh, I think next week with uh, the second pair. So let's go for it. So I think the first thing that's really interesting to me is that if you've uh, bought Parkhurst boots before or you've seen my unboxing videos of Parkhurst boots, uh, they normally come in a, a single box. But what, what I mean by that is the boot box is actually the consignment box and once you open that you get straight into the boots. But as you saw at the beginning of this video, uh, it came in a, a double sized box, a UPS box, and then in it were two boot boxes. Now, I, I don't know whether that's because I bought two at once, although I have done that before, uh, and they did still come in that single box. So I suspect what Andrew has done is he has now started sending them out in their own individual boot boxes and then uh, they'll come with a with a consignment box on the outside. So I don't mind that. It's just a little bit different. Uh, it's got the uh, the label here that you can see UK 7, USA 8, uh, European 40 and it says uh, Park M uh, Kunawan Commando Commando uh, Waxy Commander Prairie and I do know that this is leather from Charles F. Stead. So uh, let's open it up and have a look and see what's inside. Uh, spare pair of laces, round cotton laces. I'm assuming it's spare and that there are <laughs> laces on the boot. I shall be very embarrassed if this is the only pair that comes out. Uh, the usual thank you note from Andrew. Thank you for your support. Uh, enjoy and wear well, signed by Andrew personally. In the box, uh, oh, yes, hello. In the box uh, uh, is paper protecting and separating the boots, which is interesting. I don't think they used to come in paper. And the boot bag. And like more recent purchases, there isn't a Parkhurst logo on this boot bag, which is also another interesting move. Oh, yes, hello. So this is the Delaware boot which uh, you can tell being a cap toe, and it's a brogued cap toe, which is what Parkhurst calls their Delaware model. Uh, they also have the plain toe Allen boot and the cap toe, non-brogue toed, uh, non-brogue uh, cap toe, uh, Richmond boot. So taking a look at this, obviously it's a six inch service boot uh, with a cap toe, brass hardware, flat cotton laces, so yes, these were spares, thank goodness. <laughs> um, it's a commando sole, and it's, I don't know if you can see in this light, but it's Parkhurst's proprietary commando sole. Uh, I know Andrew's had problems when his boot sizes go much beyond, I think it's 11, where the uh, brand name commando and Ridgeway soles don't quite fit his last, which is uh, I believe starting at a B width at the heel, opening up uh, to a C or a D width there, and then eventually an E width there. This is made in their Spanish factory on the 602M last. So uh, the typical sort of round almond toe, quite roomy in the ball of the foot, a reasonable amount of uh, uh, volume in the profile. It, the 602M has gone up uh, from the old 602 by about two millimeters, one on each side and presumably one above, so it's, it's uh, proportional. The upper's leather, it feels lovely. This is Waxy Commander. It's not a rough out. This is from Charles F. Stead in England, uh, famous for their suede. So you can guess this is a waxed suede leather. So suede is a split leather. You can see it's sort of rough on the outside and rough on the inside, which means 
it comes from a piece of leather that's been split and it's the bottom half which is nappy on one side and nappy on the other. The uh, inside of it is buffed so it's a little bit uh, uh, flatter and cleaner and the nap is a lot finer than the rough outside. So that's the rough out and you can see the roughness and this is the suede. But what Charles F. Stead does in the tanning of Waxy Commander is they infuse it with oils and waxes and cover the outside suede so that it, it dampens the nappiness with a layer of wax. This will wear off. It will wear off a lot faster than uh, wax flesh from Horween, which is a rough out that's had a heavy coat of wax applied on it so that it's almost it almost looks like a smooth grain leather, which will wear out eventually, but takes a lot longer. Uh, I had someone actually say to me on uh, one of my uh, uh, wax suede boots, I think it was the Caswell, no, no, you couldn't possibly have been wearing it for only a few uh, uh, wears because look at how rough it's become. Well, that is that is the characteristic of waxy commander, of wax suede, that it will crease, uh, not crease, but crack the, the wax very quickly and patina really, really nicely. The feel of it is just gorgeous and already uh, even just from the waxing there's already variations in color and texture that you can see uh, I think in the areas of the uh, the heel counter cover the backstay and the toe cap uh, they've been stretched over uh, a, a leather heel counter and a celastic toe cap so there's a lot less flexing of the leather there and there which means you can see that there is slightly different color to where the leather has flexed in the lasting. It's a Goodyear welted boot, so 360 degree Goodyear welted, uh, with a split reverse welt. And by that, you can see that the welt, which is this strip of leather that goes around the, the edge of the boot, has been split and then flanged out halfway, and that flange pushed against the uppers. So what that does is it creates extra water resistance along there. The welt itself, of course, is, uh, makes the boot water resistant because there is a stitch that you can see going through the outside of the welt and through to the sole, which connects the welt to the outsole. But the, the uppers are connected to the sole through the welt on the inside of the welt. So what effectively happens is you have stitch holes going from the outside to the to the edge but you don't have them going from the outside to the inside because the stitch on the inside remains inside so water resistant uh, the finish of the welt where it joins is not to grant stone standards where that you can hardly see it but what is to grant stone standards uh, leather midsole leather stacked heel I believe it's a leather insole with a Parkhurst heel sock liner. Brass um, hardware, one, two, three, four, five eyelets and three, oh wow, three very solid, uh, I think more solid than usual speed hooks. And as you can see, the speed hooks are well fastened as indeed are the eyelets. Not gonna come apart in a hurry, I don't think. Okay, let's uh, take out the other boot and see what's going on. I might just uh, move the box so it's out of the way. Um, yeah, the other boot, look, really lovely shape, I think, to that 602M last. That's a really nice toe. The 602 and the 602 M lasts fit my feet really, really well because they lock in the heel and the waist and it's roomy at the ball and it gives my uh, toes wiggle room. I think the 602 M is marginally bigger for me. I don't mind it because then I wear thick socks. I could possibly experiment by going down a further half uh, a size. I'm an eight and a half US Brannock. These are US eight. And possibly I might try a US 7.5 but I, I, I don't want to chance it. I mean, this, this is a good fit already. So the left boot of the pair looks exactly the same <laughs> as you'd hope it would. 
with a little more you know, difference in color. This will wear through, of course, and the, the color will sort of start to even out with sort of rough patches where the wax has worn out. Looking at the uh, stitching consistency, this wheeled welt kind of hides the stitch a little bit, uh, but basically it's a wheeled welt where, where the pressure is applied to create these little ridges. But the, you can see that the stitch is very even on the welt, very even through the unchanneled uh, stitch there. Not to worry, you've got these commando lugs that are holding it up. The stitching on the uppers, yeah, a little bit of burnt stitching there where the ends have been uh, burnt down, which is what you, you traditionally do, the end of the stitch, and then you burn it down. Fairly even. Double stitch here, quite even. I mean, it's not to the precise Weiberg standards, but it's a rugged boot. The uh, leveling of the two quarters is very nice and neat. And I think what I like is the neatness of this uh, punched brogue decoration. So quality control of both boots looks pretty good to me. A little bit of a rough spot. Okay, so um, I'm going to try them on and we'll see what they look like on feet and how they feel. Okay, let's get them on. Uh, the lacing is a little bit weird at the start, but um, that's the way they were packed. I'll sort them out um, after the try on. Oh, that feels quite interesting. It's, this is the 602M out of Spain. Uh, and with past 602Ms out of Spain, I found them a little roomier than the old 602s out of Batavia, New York. However, I'm finding these almost like a return to the original feel. As soon as you slip them on, now this might be the waxy commander because the wax suede will stretch. And through the shrinking of the tanning of the wax suede, uh, the fibers um, get get shrunken by about 30%. So it might be that because of the leather, it feels a little bit more snug, but it does feel snug, not tight. It feels more snug than the 602 M's that I've been wearing uh, the last year or so. Another interesting aspect I've just discovered, or, or I've noticed, the cap toe is a little bit shorter. I think past Parkhurst cap toes have come out by, oh, half a centimeter. Uh, five mils or so, I would have said. So this seems to be a shorter captor, which I think is actually more attractive. It doesn't look like really long in the nose. Right, let's tighten her up and see what it feels like. So yeah, first impressions, very clean boot. Um, feels a little bit more snug than uh, uh, the last few 602Ms I've had. I'm very happy because this reminds me more of the 602s uh, that were originally being made um, and certainly laces up like a firm handshake <laughs> like the proverbial firm handshake feels good around my my foot yeah I did say the start of the lacing was a little bit hinky but here yeah, we <laughs> will tighten it up and then I'll change it around to the way I like it um, the leather is nice and firm, so I'm very happy with that. Um, some waxy commanders are, are lighter in weight, but these feel really nice and snug around my feet. Standing up, comfortable, comfortable. Obviously, there's no foam or padding or uh, pour on on the insole. But it's, you know, if you get a good fitting pair of boots, they're always comfortable, aren't they? You can't go wrong with a really good fitting pair of boots. I'm liking them. They do need a break in because they are uh, 
the I, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's, it's definitely a little bit more snug. As I say, not uncomfortable. This is a nice firm handshake. So they do need a bit of breaking in. And that sole construction, the Goodyear welt around that forefoot, is fairly stiff. So that will need some breaking in. Certainly flexes at the right place. I always find Parkhurst's uh, 602 and 602 M lasts are right for my feet as a size 8.5 USD in terms of ball to toe as well as up to that flex point ball to heel which is extremely important flex point because that's what stops heel slip hardly any heel slip and you, you remember when I tied it up I didn't exactly like cinch it really tight Colors fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I think you can already see as I'm flexing it that the wax is cracking along those crease lines and it's going to give you a fantastic patina. So there you go, looking nice on feet. All right then, let's wrap up. So there you have it. Uh, the unboxing and try-on of uh, these Parkhurst uh, uh, Delaware boots in Charles F. Stead's uh, Waxy Commander, this colour called Prairie. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, visit to, with Parkhurst, my favourite brand really. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on like and if you haven't yet, don't forget to click on subscribe. Keep in touch because next week, I think depending on when I up upload this, but it's probably going to be next week, I'm going to show you the unboxing of that second box uh, that came out of the big box. So stay tuned. In the meantime, look after yourselves and I'll see you back here soon.